This is our planet Earth. It's rotating on its own axis. And this is a geostationary or geosynchronous satellite. This satellite is also moving around the Earth at the same velocity without any active engine. Gravity of Earth is supposed to bring the satellite down on the ground, but it's never ever happened. Why? Which mechanism keeps the satellite stable on a certain orbit? Or why satellite doesn't fall off from the orbit? Hmm, you may think this is very complex things or complex issue. Yeah, that's true. But I'm gonna to explain it very simple way. Sit tightly and enjoy with Matasium, the place for twisting the tale of science. It is a geostationary satellite and it's moving at a constant height above the ground. The speed of this earth and satellite are the same for geostationary or geosynchronous satellite. I'm gonna to calculate the height of this satellite from the ground. Any geosynchronous satellite can move at a constant speed and a constant height from the ground if it is fulfilled the following conditions. The conditions are centrifugal force must be equal to the gravitational force. Any kind of artificial satellite, for example, geosynchronous satellite or um, geostationary satellite can maintain a constant velocity and a constant height from the ground if it is fulfilled only the following conditions, so-called geosynchronous condition. And the geosynchronous condition is centrifugal force must be equal to the gravitational force. Centrifugal force is denoted by here Fc and gravitational force is Fg. From the calculation, mathematical calculation, we know centrifugal force is mv square over r, where m is the mass of satellite, v is the velocity of satellite, and r is the distance of satellite from the center of the earth. And this gravitational force can be calculated from Newton's law of universal gravitation. Let us consider two objects, one is m1 mass and another object, object 2, whose mass is m2, and they are located at a distance r. So according to the Newton's law of universal gravitation, the attraction force in between this uh, object, so-called uh, gravitational force, Fg equals to G, universal gravitational constant, times a multiplication of these two mass divided by distance square. For our case, one object is satellite, another object is Earth. So according to this law, gravitational force can be calculated rewrite at universal gravitation constant times mass of earth times mass of satellite over distance from the satellite to or from center of the earth square. I can rewrite this equation as like as this mv square over this r means distance from center of earth to the satellite which is equals to r of e that means radius of earth plus h this h is height above the ground equals to g times m e times m over similarly r square r of e radius of earth plus height above the ground and then square now look at here from the left hand side this mass of mass of uh, satellite and right hand side mass of satellite can be removed and this one and this square can be removed and right hand side remaining re plus h what we get from here v square equals g times m e over r e plus h this we are getting from velocity or i can rewrite this velocity as like as um, orbital velocity orbital velocity is so called v o equals if i remove this square it will be square root here g times m e over r e plus h this is the equation, orbital velocity equation. Now, what we know from our childhood, any kind of velocity can be calculated is like as v equals distance over time, right? For our orbital velocity, 
the satellite is moving around the orbit this is the distance that means full circle of an orbit which is equals to 2 pi r over this t is so called orbital period and this orbital period can be denoted by t and this so called orbital period which is equals to 23 hours and 56 minutes an artificial satellite can move complete the full circle within 23 hours and 56 minutes which is called orbital period t and this r equals called twice pi r is radius of earth plus height from the ground of the earth over t if we replace this equation over here we are getting 2 pi re plus h 2 pi re plus h over orbital period t equals right hand side square root g times mass of earth plus radius of earth plus height of satellite above the ground now this equation become very simple this is time to make simplification nothing else oh sorry this is this is right okay now what we can do we can remove this square root so to do that i have to do it square here if you do square here it is getting 4 <coughs> pi square re plus h square over t square which equals to g times mass of earth plus re plus h right until this there is um, no complexity so far i understood now if we just rearrange these parameters from left to right right to left we need only h remember we need only h for that reason we can rearrange from these parameters from left to right and right to left to do that i can rewrite this part can be multiplication with this part radius of earth plus height squared then this on multiplication it's become cube equals g times me times t square over 4 pi square 4 pi square if I remove this cube, Re plus H equals cube root G times Me T square over 4 pi square, right? Also, as I told you before now, G is gravitational constant which is equals to 6.673 times 10 power 11 newton meter square per kg square this mass of earth is 5.97 5.97 times 10 power 24 kg and this t is equals to orbital period 23 hours and 56 minutes which is equals to 86160 eight six one six zero second so if i put all those value i will get cube root long cube root g is 6.673 6.673 times 10 to power minus 11 don't need to write the <laughs> unit times mass of the earth is equal to um, 5.97 5.97 10 power 24 times t is 86160 86160 then whole square over 4 pi square 4 pi square if we calculate this whole scenario then we are getting finally r of e plus h equals to 4 
टू वन फाइव फोर नाइन नाइन फोर फोर नाइन नाइन फोर मीटर और इफ आई डिवाइडेड बाई वन थाउजेंड इट विल बी फोर टू वन फाइव फोर फोर टू वन फाइव फोर किलोमीटर नोटिस हियर आर ई प्लस एच इक्वल्स टू फोर टू वन फाइव फोर दैट मीन्स दिस डिस्टेंस इज फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ आर्थ प्लस हाइट फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड बट आवर क्वेश्चन वॉज हाइट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट एब द ग्राउंड दैट मीन्स एच टू डू दैट आई कैन कीप एच इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड इज फोर टू वन फाइव फोर माइनस आर ई रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ सो फोर टू वन फाइव फोर माइनस रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ आई कैन राइट सिक्स थ्री सेवन वन किलोमीटर थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एट्टी थ्री सेवन हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी थ्री किलोमीटर हुई इज एप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड किलोमीटर height of an artificial satellite which is equals to 36000 km above the ground i have to mention here um, on point there is two types of artificial satellite so called uh, geosynchronous satellite and uh, geostationary satellite okay function of those two types of satellite almost similar but they have a very small difference i am making another video uh, what is the difference between the geosynchronous satellite and geostationary satellite if you have time you can look um, in my channel Th there is another video about geosynchronous satellite and geostationary satellite what is their difference there are sp very small difference so i am making an another video Video, you can have a look and uh, thank you so much for watching my video and i wish you a good time and hope you enjoy my video um, please subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends uh, it will help me a lot and it will inspire me to make more qualityful content thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye